Welcome back to Team O'Neill. I'm Wyatt. It's snowing. We're in New Hampshire. We got a Subaru out here. It's only December 8th, but we're going hot. What are we doing today? We're going to talk about the limo stop. What's the limo stop? It's the nicest way to stop your car anytime you come to a stop sign or a stoplight or anywhere you stop. Uh, but it also translates directly into some winter driving skills, some high performance driving skills. We'll talk about trail braking a little bit. Um, so let's get out there. We'll go hot. We'll talk about the limo stop, show you how it works, give you a few applications for that in the high performance world. Uh, it's cold out here. Let's get in the car, give it a try. All right, so the limo stop, almost a luxury driving technique, if you will, but it's really good for street driving. Anytime you wanna bring the vehicle to a stop, what you're looking to do here is get on the brakes, slow it down, and as the vehicle's coming to a full stop, start easing off the brake, and ease off, and ease off, and ease off, so that that actual moment when we came to a full stop there, there was no bounce or recoil or spriggy feeling or you know that jerky abrupt feeling. You get your you know cup of coffee or something like that. You want to be able to do that. It's super nice. It's super mellow. It works in all vehicles. It doesn't matter. Let's do it one more time on the brakes. As the vehicle's coming to a full stop, now ease off and ease off and ease off and ease off. And that moment where it just settles nicely and softly to a stop, that's what you're looking for. Um, and that's what it's for as limo drivers, you know, or a good cab driver or a good Uber driver or anybody is going to be really good at the limo stop um, just from having done it so long. And it's something that you can use in your daily driving. Here we are at, you know, a performance driving school. Why the hell do we care about the limo stop? Well, it's a great street driving skill, but also winter driving, performance driving. You know, when you're looking to feel how much grip you've got, if we're out here on the snow right now, you can do that same limo stop, but do it aggressively. Um, and what you can do is intentionally go beyond, you know, a, a hard brake initially. And if the wheels lock up, uh, or in a modern car, if you have ABS, the ABS activates, then you kind of ease off of that to a nice slowing down pace. And you can ease off of that as you come to a stop. So an aggressive limo stop. Um, a lot of times you'll see race car drivers do this, or you know, if you're driving in the winter, you can do this just to feel how much grip you've got. So let's get up a little bit of speed here and give it a shot. Brake hard, locked up, ease off. I got grip again, and then ease fully off to a stop. So that is about as quick as we're going to get stopped on a slippery road like this. So emergency braking, you know, you're driving in a snowstorm down a hill, there's a stop sign, you're not going to stop. That's how you want to approach that situation. Do it one more time. Here we are, come onto a straightaway, brake hard, locked up, ease off, and then ease back in and, uh, and feather that brake. Um, and that's a really nice way to get the vehicle stopped under control. So the way emergency braking is traditionally taught is to build up the brake gradually, and then if you feel lock up, ease off and feel on, and that's the traditional kind of winter braking, threshold braking, trying to get stopped. If you do it this way, with the kind of aggressive limo brake, you brake hard, too much, and then ease off, you really find threshold braking very quickly. It's up to you, it's just another nice way to do it. And that's what a lot of people do in the winter. You know, when you get out of your driveway and you find a safe spot, nobody's behind you, feel the brake and see how hard you can brake and ease off and on and off because that's just telling you exactly how much grip you've got. You know, coming down that hill, I could feel it's pretty icy, but if I ease off, you're calibrating your brake foot to how much brake you could use in an emergency. Uh, but also, you know, that's gonna tell you how much you can steer or accelerate and keep it smooth so that you can come to a nice stop should anything happen. Another thing you can do that's really good training, uh, if you're interested in getting into some more high performance stuff at some point, is the limo stop with your left foot on the brake. There's a few different ways you can do it. The first and easiest way is to just clutch in neutral left foot brake. Icy there, come to a stop, very slippery, easing off the brake at that real mellow, a little bit of jerk at the end, you know, not perfect. Um, but hopefully you see how that works. You know, you could be driving along, clutch in and left foot brake, only takes a second, ease off, get that limo stop. That was pretty nice, we'll take that.
Uh, the other thing you can do, most vehicles, when you lift off the gas, you can just shift into neutral without using the clutch. Uh, so that's another one that, you know, in most cars, it's really easy to do, uh, and it's not hard on equipment at all to just lift and put it in neutral. Left foot brake to a stop, limo stop, and we're done. Um, so without using the clutch, essentially, just pulling it out of gear into neutral, left foot braking, limo stop. So the last thing you can think about is adding the steering in, right? Everything we've been doing up until now, limo stop, aggressive limo stop, left foot braking limo stop, is all in a straight line, trying to keep it straight, just worrying about getting stopped. Uh, you can think about the steering because, especially in the winter time or when you're driving fast, you know, high performance driving, if you're on the brakes hard, the car won't turn. Right? Especially if you got them locked up, the, the car's just gonna understeer. So uh, you need to trail brake. And trail braking is basically just braking hard in a straight line. And then as you approach a corner, you're releasing the brake smoothly as you add steering. Um, you can think of an off ramp or something like that. If you're going down the highway fast, yo man, you're late for an off ramp. Brake hard, brake hard, brake hard ease off the brakes as you turn. Well, now that you've been doing the limo stop, it's just a stepping stone to trail braking. You've calibrated yeah, at least your right foot to that brake hard, ease off for the limo stop. You're gonna do the same thing now, but ease off as you add steering for the corner. Um, and that's all trail braking is. Uh, you've just separated that input and really trained your foot to do it uh, on its own. And you can use that in the winter, you can use that when you're driving fast, you can use that on the track. That's what everybody's doing on basically every racetrack in the world is trail braking. Um, and now you can start thinking about doing that. And get good at doing it in the snow. I mean, snow is the best practice uh, for any kind of driving, is to get out here on the snow and ice and brake hard. And oh, here's my corner, I better ease off. And you feel the tires unlock, you feel the car turn in. Um, if you get it right or you get it wrong, it's super obvious immediately. Winter driving is the answer. Um, if you can't get out on the racetrack you know, every weekend and get hours and hours of seat time, guess what? You can go out and drive in the snow on some back roads, get into a few skids and figure it out so that, you know, a few exercises like this, you can really dial yourself in and get really good, high quality seat time. The other super nice thing about practicing in the snow is that you really don't wear any tires out. You're not wearing out the ball joints. You're, you're not kind of stressing any mechanical components. Um, you know, we could be out here sliding around in the snow and ice for literally all day, uh, and the car will be in no worse condition than it was in the morning. If you try that on a track or on the gravel on a rally stage or something like that, and you want to go, you know, pretty hard all day long, you're going to ruin that car. Uh, you know, the brakes, the tires, the suspension, the bushings, all of it is just going to get punished the more grip you have. Um, versus that snow and ice driving is so smooth and easy on equipment that you can get tons of seat time um, and it's just that bang for your buck. So anyways, just a quick video. Hopefully you get out there. You try the limo stop. You try the aggressive limo stop. You do them with either foot. Uh, you start thinking about trail braking and using that coming into corners. Uh, we're gonna try and get back to kind of our roots here, get some more actual driving skill videos. Uh, hopefully give you guys some drills like this that you can go out and practice on your own in a safe area and, and really ramp up your feeling with the pedals and what you're doing with your hands and your eyes and just kind of up the standard of of driving in general. If you're into these kinds of videos, you want some more kind of driving skill stuff, please think about subscribing to the channel. We're gonna be putting out some more of this here. Uh, you know, we've got snow on the ground. We finally got a little bit of time on our hands. We can come out and shoot some stuff. So that's great. If you've got any questions or recommendations, kind of suggestions, feel free to add them in the comment section. We get to those, we read every comment. Um, so, you know, get a hold of us there. Check out tmoneal.com if you're interested in doing a driving course, coming out and getting some seat time up here at our campus in New England. Talking too fast, that's all I got for you. Um, until then, have fun, be safe, and we'll catch you next time.